The Asset Lab is one of the easiest and the most profitable businesses to run in GTA Online. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set it all up, how best to source for it, how to sell the goods, including a method to sell it in only 30 seconds, and of course, how much money you can actually make. Before we get into it, don't forget to drop it a like and subscribe for the best GTA guides on the internet. So without further ado, let's get to it. Unlike the other businesses you can just throw some money at to get started, the Acid Lab requires the completion of some story missions first. Show me your butthole fillers! These are the first dose missions, of which there are six. You'll be tasked with doing some weird ass jobs for Dax and his re- I mean friends. In total, the first dose missions will pay you $100,000, but you'll get a first time bonus of $50,000 for each one completed, totaling $400,000, and will take around an hour or so. After you've completed the first dose missions, you'll have one more job to do, which is to collect the equipment needed to start your business, and to install it will cost $750,000. But do not start doing anything with it yet, as you'll then need to complete 10 DAX Fooligan jobs in order to be able to upgrade it all. These will pay out a standard rate of $50,000 each time, and will have a cooldown of 48 minutes. I have made a comprehensive guide on how to speedrun all of these missions to get them done as fast as possible, so link for that will be in the description below. So getting started is a grind, but in total you would have made $500,000 from the fooling and jobs alone. You're now able to install the upgrade at a cost of $250,000. With the money you'll make getting this far, this equates to getting the entire asset business for pretty much free. You just need to put the work in. This is easily the best business to start with for new players. The Brickade will be your production and selling headquarters, so it's like a mobile business. It can be upgraded too, by adding some armour and various other bits. Just don't get the large scoop at the front, as this will make it get stuck in places when driving it. None of these upgrades will add any more value to the business. The bike you get will be used as your delivery vehicle during selling missions, so it's important to upgrade this too. So you know the loot them all? One thing you definitely want to avoid are the sourcing missions, as these take far too long to complete and will only give you a small amount of supplies. Let's go, Deluda bitch! I'm gonna make some magic out of this! Instead, you can simply visit Mutt inside the Acid Lab or call him up. Hello? And pay $60,000 for him to source them all for you. All right, it'll cost us, but I have plenty of friends with extra chemicals laying around. In total, it will cost you just $96,000 to fill your lab to its maximum. It will take four hours to fill up, but you can boost its production rate once per day inside the lab. This will speed up production to three hours. You also have the chance to get a full batch of supplies by raiding a stash house. These will randomly fill up one of seven of your businesses, with the Acid Lab being one of them. Ah! So from now on, this business can be run completely passive, with the exception of the selling missions.
The selling missions are some of the easiest in the game. Before starting one, always call Lester and request a job. Hey there. What can I help you with? For someone of your talents, sure. I'll get you a job. Then make sure you are registered as a CEO so you can activate Ghost Organization if you need it. It's then best to sell in a full public lobby to get that high demand bonus. There are three types of missions that you may get. One involves making five drops at various locations. When doing this one, pick a spot at each drop that is hidden, as some locations have cops watching, which will then give you a wanted level. This should be completed in about 6 minutes. Another type sees you doing a paper round only with LSD. This can be annoying as the aiming can be a little off. There are a total of 10 drops to make, usually at close distances to each other. You should have this one completed in about 7 minutes. But the best selling mission is the ambush. The best way to do this one is to go to the ambush location and find one of the police cars, then throw a sticky bomb on it. Each ambush location is related to the drop off, so if you know where this is going to be, you can just drive straight there then activate the sticky. This will trigger a wanted level. Now start the lesser job you requested earlier, then back out. This will lose your wanted level and you'll be able to make the drop. This also teleports your personal vehicle with you for a quick getaway. If you don't know the final drop off location, you can activate the ambush straight away, then start the job and back out. Which will then tell you where you need to go next. With a bit of planning, it is possible to sell it all in only 30 seconds by dropping a sticky at the location before you start, then park in your lab right next to the drop off. You just need to cross your fingers that you get the right location. But obviously, unless you're going for some kind of record, this isn't worth the effort. So how much can you actually make? For every $96,000 you spend on supplies, this will produce just over $330,000. Already, this is a pure profit of nearly $240,000 if sold in a solo lobby. But selling in a public lobby with the high demand bonus can net you as much as half a million dollars for really just a few minutes of selling the stuff. This makes it one of the best consistent money makers in the game. I recorded all of this during the Double Money event week. This meant every DAX job was paying $100,000 and a full asset lab was paying out almost $1 million, which could easily be made every three to four hours. 
So the 96,000 you spent on supplies is a drop in the ocean, as it meant a pure profit of almost $900,000. At this rate, there is nothing that can compare to such a payload for such little time and effort. You can change the name of your product, which is meant to give you a small selling bonus, but this only appears to work if it is not totally filled up, so it's pretty much pointless. So what are your thoughts on the Acid Lab business? How much have you made from it? Let me know in the comments. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and subscribe for the best detailed guides on the internet. Here are some other videos you may also enjoy. I'm Beats Thou, and I'll see you in the next one.